Now at noon, just within the past 20 minutes, I-295 reopened following a deadly wreck near Blanding Boulevard. It still might take a while, though, for that congestion to clear, but by the looks of it here, this part of the roadway is all clear. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jennifer Waugh. We know a woman was killed after that crash, which involved a tractor trailer. We're still waiting on the crash report to provide more information about who she was. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us live along Blanding Boulevard with a look at traffic there. No doubt it was congested this morning. We followed it on the morning show as people tried to get onto the interstate, Aaron. And this area is kind of back to normal now as you see the traffic flowing as it usually does in this area. Different story several hours ago at the time of that crash. But even look toward the overpass. That's near where the crash happened. Even that is back to that normal traffic flow. But Sky 4 flew over the scene showing the lanes closed at the time and slow moving traffic on the opposite side. FHP says the woman killed in this crash hit the semi from behind. Here's a look from the ground as traffic was backed up for miles along I-295 before finally opening back up within just the last hour. FHP also says no one else was hurt in that crash. Reporting live from near Blanding Boulevard, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.